We're minutes away from making Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. We have super fans in line. We're talking WrestleMania 3, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat versus Macho Man Randy Savage. What was the significance of that match as a fan? It pretty much made the uh, title. It made that like a worker's title. And it made it like a stepping stone to the world title. And Matt? Steamboat and Savage put so much into it in preparation last pages worth of notes. Memorizing moves. Uh, they the show, so. <laughs> you boys qualify that as a five star match? Oh, yeah. Ten star. Ten star. I think they honestly, performance wise, they outdid the Mandy Savage match. Yeah. Because a lot of people feel that way. Well, I'm excited you guys get to meet them, get your signatures and your photo ops, and the rest of the fans in line today here at Time Warp and Ashland Town Center. Won't be long now, guys. I had my name recently on trademark before I went to work for Jim. Because uh, I had been working about 10 years right here in wrestling before I went to WWF at the time in 1985, right? So Vince, Vince, wanted, Vince wanted to come up with something to add to the name. So I was going to take Bruce Lee's band. I took Taekwondo as a kid. So Bruce Lee had a movie like Return of the Dragon. Right. So Vince, that's the dragon, Ricky the dragon suit, right? So, uh, as soon as I, uh, I was at Vince's house, and as soon as I left, I called my uh, trademark, and I said, we need, we need to trademark the dragon. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. We need to do it. So, give it I can, clear. they would give me the trademark to the dragon with only thing that was wrestling related. Because maybe some other actors want to use it for a martial arts movie or you know, other other stuff, but anything wrestling related. I Two weeks later, we're doing a television taping. It was my first TV taping, and I'm passing this to Paul, and he said, "You beat me to it, didn't you?" I said, "What are you talking about, nuts?" He said, "You went ahead and trained like a dragon." It was just business. Nice. That's an incredible story, Ricky. Yeah, because there were some wrestlers that had their name while they were working for the company. And for whatever reason, they had a falling out or they decided to move on and go maybe to work. At that time, it was the WCW, World Championship Wrestling, for Turner. So but they, couldn't take, they couldn't take their wrestling name with them. Because the WWE trademarked the name. Real quick, that's why... Um, Hulk Hogan, when he left Vince and went to work for Turner, became Hollywood Hogan. Because the letter Hulk was trademarked by Marvel Comics, okay, by the Green Hulk. And then Vince leased it from Marvel Comics to Hulk, uh, anything wrestling related. So this, that's the story that I heard, and that's why. Instead of Hulk Hogan, when he went to Turner, he went to Hollywood. That's how he got that. Incredible. Because how the trademark thing worked with the word Hulk. Okay, I'll touch you. How we doing? I'm, I get rambling on, you know. We're so excited. Anything you want to share? Red? Okay. Yeah. yeah. The newest one out, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back in the box. See you, buddy. Good to see you. Some Indian 3. 
Ten star, right, Matt? Down the line. We'll start down the line. I have to say mine from the early nineties class of champions and when he was Dustin Rose's and history partner. Okay. And I was 11, 12 years old. Yeah. Went wild. There's a, a lot, but that's the one. That, it was a simpler time, wasn't it? Yeah. And yours? I, I mean, like, my, my, mine's pretty much the same of his. Him coming out just, you know, just this crazy, just dragon, almost just like, like kind of like just He-Man ensemble, like, he just, you know, just breathe, lights go out, him breathing fire, you know, that's just the moment just really hits you that he is just like the legit dragon, just, you know, just back in the day, like, you know, just, I, I, I almost think he's kind of like almost in the same categories like Bruce Lee, you yeah. just think of just awesome people. That's great, great memory. Uh, I think it would be sacrilegious not to mention WrestleMania 3. I think everybody will. But for me, the fact that he came back in 09 and to hear Jericho tell it, that Ricky at that age hadn't been in the ring for however many years, came back and was better than 90% of the guys in the locker room, that's just a testament to his ability and his skill. You want to show your figure that you're sure, getting signed? absolutely, yeah. That's amazing. That's the idea. Great piece. Yeah, thanks, man. Thank you guys for speaking and oh, coming out. Man, for asking. Have a great experience with Ricky. Steamboat memory, you want to share with the fans? I'm not that old. Come on. Uh, well, obviously, the WrestleMania three. WrestleMania three. Macho greatest, Man. Greatest match ever. Um, How many stars you give that? I hate rating. <laughs> it was good. It was good Infinite match. stars. And actually, it's it's so good that whenever someone asks me to, to pick a wrestling match, like to describe professional wrestling in one match, I always recommend that one. That's your go-to? Yeah, absolutely. Um, but, uh, you know, that and uh, him beating Flair for the NWA title, they're both they're both really good matches. Um, he's one of the best. And I'd say top 10 of all time, definitely. Well, congratulations on the success of What a Cluster. Oh, yeah. Last Appreciate weekend, you really brought a ton of entertainment to everyone in the area. Great, man. I couldn't ask for a better show. I couldn't ask for a better crowd. Um, anytime you have to bring seats out and set up more chairs, it's always a good It was good attendance time. record, right? Uh, no, it wasn't, the, it wasn't the record, but it was the second biggest show we've done. Well, so. that's good uh, sign. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'll let you get back to the event. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. Our feud went back and forth for about 17 years, on and off, back and forth. I don't know how you dealt with it. Yeah, we do all the time. We, uh, we got a picture? Yep. Okay, come back here. Step into my office. <laughs> here we go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, it was an honor meeting you. I mean, three times. Tell your mom, thanks for being a fan for me, okay? I have to say, for somebody in their late 60s, you look phenomenal. Thanks. Yeah. We stole the show. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. Yeah, no doubt. I was going to write that if that's okay. Sure. Okay. Please. Whatever. That is incredible. Savage about that. He's held the kick as he was about to get on that chair. Kill the media. How precise he wanted it. You know, I can interject. You get the picture? Yeah. Okay. That's all I told him. Saturday, I was like, man, four to six, man. That's all you need. Did you enjoy wrestling Bret Hart? How many times have I wrestled Bret Hart? A handful? Two. Two. And it was a joy. Each and time? I didn't, I didn't know this until 20 plus years later, Bret Hart and I were together doing an appearance, and he came up to me 
And he said, Ricky, did you not know that it was supposed to have been you and me for WrestleMania 3? Wow. Of you and Savage? Wow. wow. I said, Mind's blown. That's what happened. Well, uh, powers to be in the politics. Wow. Imagine that. Did you hear that? Go ahead, Lou. I'll do it online and then I'll send it to you. Okay.